The avoidance to catch a thief in a farm is what leads to the thief to catch the owner. Since Oni of Ife refused to give this woman Woto Woto, it's now as if these women are now prepared to give Kabiesi Woto Woto. Because what we are hearing now all more is in another level. Ah, ah, ah. Anything that goes up, the fate is down for. So all this one that the Oloris are running kitty kitty, running kata kata, in you drink water drop cup, according to the information that the cook cooked only of his first food and they kept it in the in where he's supposed to eat in the dining and the cooks were there. So now uh, Miriam came to the dining and sat there because Kabiesi wasn't around and she said she's going to sit there till Kabiesi comes because surely Kabiesi will have to eat his food. Now the, the cooks said in their heart that they know that Miriam did not touch the food, but she sat at the table opposite where the food is. And the way you know the way only of if I only of if and dining table is they have 12 chairs. So oh, Miriam was sitting like six chairs away from where the food is. And uh, there's another sumo dining where the, the cooks were sitting down there monitoring the food. So they didn't know whether the two more or she put it in her finger or she put it in her eyes. But what we know is that this hole that Miriam dig. She will not jump it and pass so because why they have done more than they have done they have done the abominable hey my brothers my sister hey hey my lord my lord ooh, ooh. hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel is your favorite baby girl Zauza and it on the microphone. If you're new to my channel, gay gay, I appreciate you to my returning subscribers. Thank you so so much. So, yes, yeah, so. So they say, according to the information, if they keep food for KBAC and it comes in the night, he did not eat the food. He said that the, the chef will eat the food. Anybody in the palace will eat the food. They can just eat it or give it out because KBAC does not eat leftover food. Yes, he likes his food well cooked and cooked straight from the pot. Hmm, hmm, hmm. According to the information, no, that KBAC came back. But when he came back, Miriam, Miriam was far asleep on the dining. Kabi Esina said they should wake her up to go to the room and sleep. And Miriam did not even complain. She was doing as someone like that she's drunken sleep. As in the sleep is drunk in her. And Miriam went to her room to sleep. She did not wake up to this morning. Now, guess what? They said that particular food, one of the, the assistant chef, now said, oh, let me eat the food since Kabi Esi did not eat it. And he, he, the nurse said, okay, eat it. Because Kabi Esi does not eat much at night. Apparently, it was... um fried rice they did for him he wanted just something with a lot of vegetables so they did fried rice with a lot of vegetables for him and they said the the assistant chef now ate the food and ever since this guy ate the food that nobody have got it, nobody has seen peace in that palace that the guy was just shouting he has been shouting oh miriam oh miriam miriam oh miriam my peace oh my peace miriam oh miriam uh, uh, people are like what is miriam oh miriam which miriam oh lori miriam anaku my oh lori they were like uh, uh, this is disrespect why will you be calling only of your wife my 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 miriam the guy was saying it's my miriam oh it's my miriam so they were like okay let them wait till this morning once it's morning, they can go and wake Miriam and understand what is going on. And they told Oni, Oni was like, ah, maybe the guy is high. But they smell his mouth. They say no. Uh, some people in the palace actually came to testify that the guy does not even take alcohol. So selling the guy is high. They don't understand. Hmm. Hey! That in the morning, oh, they now have to go and call Miriam to come. That come, oh, somebody is calling your name since yesterday. He has been shouting, Miriam, oh, my love, my love, come close to me. Hmm. Now, when Miriam come, the first thing Miriam asked the guy is, did you eat that food, that can be a cis food, that um, there's then one of the chief chef now said he cannot answer you. He ate it. I was here. I didn't want to eat because it was late. It was almost 12. Since KBSC did not come, he decided to eat the food. That's why Miriam now shouted, oh, why did you eat the food? Who sent you? So the Ifa prince and some of the elders that were there, they now added two or two. So they said the Ifa prince now dragged Miriam to the corner and now asked Miriam, talk through, what did you put in that food? Uh, Miriam now said she didn't put anything, that she just prayed to God that only we have to be loving her, that only will be following her up and down, that if only just eat this food like this, eh, that is only her matter that only will reason, only will reason, only her matter, and only will love her alone. And that is what she did. She didn't do anything bad. People do a whole lot of things to stay in marriage. So the Ifa prince now told her, thank you, thank you so much. 
I respect you for telling me this because if you don't tell me this, we are actually not going to find a solution to this matter. So thank you for telling me this. My brothers, my sister, it's not a small thing. Hey, hey, they say Palas saw 21, they could not run. Palas say, eh? Palas people, all of them, they were there. They say, eh? Hey. So this is what is happening in this palace. We will don't know. Some people are here saying everything. Oh, um, this the agenda will not work. Oh, if you know, you know, my beautiful people. Hmm. They say that is how the Ifa prince now went into the palace and brought out one substance. Now gave it to the um to the guy to take because at the end of the day they need to give him antidote for him to take for him to be okay. You understand? The things that the things that these people in the palace used to do. It's only God that will stop them. It's only God, because if it's not God, it's only God that we know. Uh-uh. So, they said if our prince now brought the antidote, now gave it to the guy, the guy now took the antidote, the matter he took it, he fell asleep, like, and when he woke up, they were asking him, was he in love with oh, uh, only, only of his wife? The guy said him. Why will he be in love with only of his wife in his capacity as who? The guy said no, that he has his own life, that he has his own wife, he only came here to work. And walk, he came to walk. So he does not understand what they're meaning. That's what I tell him that this is what was happening yesterday. And the guy said he cannot remember, but he only remember eating on Kabiesi's food, which is the food that all of them used to eat. And that was when Kabiesi had heard of it. Kabiesi said, Enough is enough. And everybody was saying, No, 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 Kabiesi have to do something to Miriam because this is too much disrespect. So right now, according to information, they said this assistant cook have said that he's not working in the palace again. He's going because they don't understand what is going. That thank God it's only food. Though. What about next time if it is his life? They now used to replace someone else's life. That him he cannot take this anymore. They were begging him to stay because it's not like that. You understand? You can understand. And people are now saying thank God it was even the guy that ate it because let me tell you how it works, guys. If they do jazz for you, if it is you yourself, the jazz meat, it will work. But if they do jazz for you and somebody else went and ate the jazz, it will not work. So remember, in, imagine if it was KBSC that ate that food. It would have been a different story. KBSC would just be doing follow, follow anything that Miriam says. That is what the person will be following. But right now, thank God it was someone else. And thank God it ended like this. Maybe it's another story we should be telling next time. You understand? So, at the end of the day, we don't know why these women are doing this. We don't know the motive behind this. But anything they are doing, they see said. Even the Fabrice that gave the guy the antidote, still told KBAC that when KBAC is asking what punishment can they give to Miriam, they still told KBAC that it's in his hands. Because they know at the end of the day, KBAC will ask you what punishment can be given. After, KBAC will still go behind and go and do another thing. So, they just told KBAC that it's in his hands. And if he wants to forgive her, let him forgive her. If he wants to give her punishment, let's give her punishment. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. So right now, my people, those are the information I heard. Uh, our running kitty kitty kata kata. I should come and let you guys know what's happening on social media space. See you guys later. Put your comments in the comment section below. Peace out.